hello and welcome back for classroom setup day two so we are at target right now because i need to get a couple things for my classroom i want to get a white flat sheet because i want to use white fabric to cover my bolts and boards because i got colored fabric last year and I just am not feeling the colors anymore. So we're gonna try to find a white flat sheet. And then I also need to get a new mirror because last year mine also fell to the ground and shattered because I had it just hanging on the wall with heavy duty double-sided tape. So I'm gonna do one that is over the door so that won't happen this year. And then we'll have a nice little affirmation station. So we're at Target, we're gonna go find those two things and then we'll head to our classroom. just basic white flat sheets but I did find this sheet set that has a flat sheet a fitted sheet and two standard pillowcases so I think I could probably just like cut the fitted sheet if I don't need or if I need more but I got two they were only like 10 bucks so I think that's probably gonna work I also I'm dropping things I also found this pretty like blush pink color as well but I think if I ever want to like change my theme or anything like that, it won't work as well. So I think I'm just going to stick with the white. Okay, I think we're going to go with this one. It seems a little bit bigger than that one over there. So I think this is the move. When I was back home, I saw this like iridescent mirror that was absolutely gorgeous. And I really wanted it. I just looked online and it says they're in stock, but I'm in literally in the aisle that it says they're in and there's none here and I'm really sad. Maybe I can order it online. All right, I just found it online, so I ordered it to have it sent to my house. And I also ordered the cream version of the pink jumpsuit that you might've seen me wear because it's super comfortable and I love it. So I'm excited to have another color of it. All right, I'm gonna show self-restraint and leave before I spend any more money. did all of our lovely morning errands and I made a little to-do list as you saw earlier. I'm not sure how much of that will actually accomplish because the cutting and the laminating takes a while. So I might just end up taking that home, but I also, I don't know, I really don't want to do stuff at home. But I think the first thing we're going to do is do all of the building. It'll be like a little building day. And then once I assemble all the things I need to assemble, which is the toy organizer, the bookshelf, display thing, um, the 12 cube organizer for the front, and I don't wanna set up those puzzles back there, or puzzle foam pieces, so. Let's take it one project at a time and then see where we end up. Also yesterday, I did not, uh, I just kept working and I forgot to eat lunch, so, um, yesterday when I got home I ordered Thai food and thankfully I had some leftovers so I did bring lunch today and I have it in the staff fridge so we are not going to starve today and then later I'm meeting up with one of my um, not teammates but co-workers to go to dinner so that will be fun later but first assembly <music>
All right, we are eating lunch. I have leftover Thai food from yesterday. I forgot to eat lunch yesterday, so we ordered some Thai food at like five o'clock when I got home. And I'm just eating the leftovers right now. I made sure to pack a lunch because I was just working nonstop yesterday and got distracted and forgot to eat. So there's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was talking to some coworkers this morning, so I wasn't very productive. I mean, I kind of was. All I did was build that 12 cube organizer, but it was not as quick as I thought it would be. So that took a lot longer than expected, but we're gonna try and do like turbo speed. Ugh. See, my brain's all over the place. We're gonna try to do like turbo speed mode for the rest of the day, just to see how much we can get done. So hopefully I can stop while I around and actually get some stuff done. I'm dropping noodles everywhere. But yeah, I think from our list, I really want to finish the toilet organizer and the bookshelf display and then I'm not really sure what the next task will be. Maybe cutting and laminating all of the other things that I don't have. Maybe organizing some supplies. I don't really know. I'm kind of all over the place and I can't decide what I want to do. We're going to finish eating and then figure it out because my brain just keeps going in circles. All right, hopefully you can hear me behind my music, but we took down the rainbow border that I had up there because, I don't know, I was just not feeling it. And I have the new fringe border that I don't know if I showed you. <clears throat> We're gonna use this border this year. I have three packs of it. And I'm not sure if that'll be enough, but we're gonna do the bulletin boards first and then do the top of the whiteboard as well with whatever we have left. So I'm not sure exactly if we're gonna have enough, but if not, I'll just go buy some more. But we're first gonna build this bookshelf, if you can see it, not bookshelf, it's like a book display thing. So that's the first task. Then we're gonna do this toy organizer, which is right over here. I don't know if you can see it, you'll see it later. But then, oh, we're gonna do the new mirror that I got. We're gonna put that up. So yeah, I think that's probably the next set of tasks to do, but I'm very happy with how the 12 cube organizer turned out. And my principal said that putting this on the walls is a-okay. So I just have to cut out where the clock is as well as the outlets. So that is gonna be a task for when I get more better than paper in, which I already ordered. I ordered like three more rolls, I think. So I'm hoping that will be enough. <laughs> Okay, it is time for a little snack break. 
I'm gonna sit down for a minute because I'm tired. And I need a sweet little treat, so that is what we were doing. Oh my God, there's a little squirrel running along the fence. That's adorable. But anyway, let me fix this. If you have never tried Nerds Gummy Clusters, then what are you doing? Because it's literally the best candy ever, in my personal opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. And these, milk chocolate, sea salt caramels. So good, these are from Target. But I think I'm gonna charge my camera battery for a little bit and finish up the rest of the bulletin boards. But I'm really happy with how the first bulletin board turned out. I think it, it'll be very just like simple and clean. And then all the stuff that I put on the bulletin boards will be super colorful. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Will be super colorful. So I think that will work out very nicely and I'll still have lots of color in the classroom. So I think depending on how much border we have and what's left over and whatnot, I have two more smaller bulletin boards to do. And then I also, I don't know how much fabric I have to make that happen. But basically we have one, two, two more like square bulletin boards. And then I'm not really sure. Oh, there's another bulletin board back there that's already white, so I don't think I have to put fabric on that one, which will be super nice. So we're gonna finish up our little snack and I'm gonna charge my camera for a little bit and then check back in later. All right, we got a lot done. My teacher area is kind of still a mess, but that's a problem for another day. But let me show you everything I got done. Okay, here is the bulletin board area and where my library is gonna go. I love how the little green bins and the bookshelf turned out. I need to center it a little bit. But I think we're gonna put some subject banners here and here. Oh gosh, focus please. Come on, there we go. Subject banners here and here, and I'm not really sure what we wanna do there yet, but I think we're gonna do our turn-in shelves, that probably right there. Then I just added some fringe to the tops of my whiteboards, just like that, and back there as well. I didn't really like the rainbow anymore. It was kind of annoying me, so I switched all of that out, and then I also finished this bulletin board back here. The last thing I want to get done before we leave is building this little toy organizer. And then we will have accomplished everything that I wanted to get done, which is really, really, really productive. I really just wanted to have everything assembled as well as the bulletin boards done. And then I can start like organizing literally everything. I did want to like cut the like stuff I got from the print shop that I showed you yesterday but I don't think we're getting to that because it's already 434 so let's build this shelf and then get out of here loving how this area turned out. We were having an issue with the phone on where to put it, but I think this is a really great spot. Still need to figure out what to do with this extra bulletin board, but we have this one done. We have the front. Basically, we're looking pretty good. Obviously, a lot of stuff is going to go up there, but for the most part, we are in a pretty good spot. Affirmations are going to go right here. 
and the birthday display is gonna go here. Book bins are gonna go on one of those shelves. I have to laminate and print, or not print, sorry. Laminate and cut all of the sound wall and banners and everything like that. So that's a job for another day, but that is also, I think I decided I'm gonna move my turn-in trays over to here because I think that's just a better spot in the room. It's a little bit crowded over there. I don't know what we're gonna put there, but we will figure something out, so. Okay, so I think we're gonna be done for the day. It's already 5.12. I stayed way later than I thought I was going to, but that's okay. Um, I'm still gonna go get dinner with one of my coworkers. Um, I think we were planning for around seven, so I think I'm still good on time, but I'm gonna bring Charlie with me because I feel bad that she's been home all day. Um, but one more thing I wanted to show you. I found these beads that I've had for a while. I also ordered letters and little keychain things. Let me get them. So I'm gonna take the beads and I'm gonna take these letters. So once I get my class list, um, I'm gonna make little name keychains for my kids. That'll be a cute little like back to school gift. Oh, I'm sweating. It's hot. That was a long day. I got here at like 10:30, but even though I didn't like, it feels like I didn't accomplish that much, but I really did. It's just like the tedious bulletin boards and assembling things took forever. So yeah, hopefully we can get a lot done on Friday. I don't have to be here. Sorry, what am I saying? My brain is mush. Tomorrow we have a phonics training with our new phonics curriculum, 95% literacy. So that will be all day tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna come after that just because it's already gonna be, I think, three or four o'clock, but we'll play it by ear and see. And then after the phonics training on, um, sorry, what am I saying? Friday is our last official day before we go back to contract hours so on friday hopefully we can put a lot of my actual decor up and have all the things printed and cut and laminated and good to go so that is it for classroom setup day two i'm exhausted i'm gonna go have dinner with my co-worker bring charlie have a grand old time still enjoy the summer days and weather that we have left and i will see you not tomorrow but Friday for Classroom Setup Day 3. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!